Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to flash the Rec Room Masters controllers to work with the Arcade One systems. This is a very simple process and I'm going to take you guys through it right now. So the first thing you want to do is go to the toolkit and select exit to windows. Okay, so once you're in windows you can go ahead and plug in your controller and then before we get started, let me talk about the USB cables. So you're going to have one USB cable coming out of the two player controller, so nothing special there. But if you have a two player plus, you're going to have two USB cables. One is for the trackball, one is for the rest of the buttons and joysticks. So you want to plug in only the one for the buttons and joysticks. So to know that, just go ahead and plug one of them in. If you see that the LEDs light up, that's the correct one. If the LEDs don't light up, that means that that's the one for the trackball. So unplug that one and plug the other one in. Same thing for the four player controller. You have two wires for that one if you opted to get a trackball. If you did not get a trackball, then you're only gonna have one wire and you don't have to worry about it. But if you have a trackball, you're gonna go ahead and plug in one of the wires. And then if it lights up the LEDs, that's the correct one. If it doesn't, unplug that one, plug the other one in until the LEDs light up. All right, so now with that out of the way, you wanna go over here to the start menu and you wanna open up Win iPack. You should see on the bottom it says something like board attached and then you have a picture of a board here. All you have to do is you have to go to the file menu, go to open, and then you're already going to have the profiles in the tools folder over here. If you don't have this folder here, Arcade One Profiles for RRM controllers, then just look in the link below in the description and download the file that I provide there. And then you'll have those wherever you download them to. Let's say you have it in your downloads folder. You're gonna have a zip file. You wanna right click that, 7-zip, extract here, and you're gonna have the profiles right there. So for this example, we're gonna go ahead and select them from the tools folder. Again, if you didn't have them in the tools folder, just select wherever you downloaded them to. For example, downloads, and there they are. All right, so back in tools, Arcade One Profiles, you're gonna select the correct one for your controller. In this case, we're using a four player controller. So I'm gonna select the extension EE4P. If you have the plus, there's the plus, and if you have the regular two player, there's the regular two player. So I'm gonna select the EE4P, and then just select the profile, either double click or click on it once and click open. And now the profile is loaded. The last thing you have to do is go to file, force board reconfigure. See down here it says board successfully configured and that is all you have to do. Close this out and then if you want to double check everything, take a look at this button layout diagram right here and if you open up notepad and you go ahead and press your buttons, they should correspond to what's here. So for example, if I press the player one top button to the left, you'll get A. If I press the next one, you'll get B. Etc. Etc. So player one start is R, and then if you press your coin button over here on the extension, then that's going to be S for player one. That's a quick way to verify that your profile worked and everything's good. And after that, you're all set. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.